In the quiet depths of my solitude, I found myself battling a monster. Hello, I am a 40-year-old man, and for the majority of my life, I was in a constant struggle with an addiction that many might not consider as such. An addiction to pornography and masturbation. A silent demon that shadowed my life for over 30 years. My early realization came as a shock. It was like waking up in a room filled with mirrors, seeing my reflection from every angle, and not recognizing the person staring back at me. I found myself locked in a cycle that was slowly consuming me. A cycle that was not just affecting me but the people around me as well. The impact was profound and it seeped into every corner of my life. Personal relationships were strained as I found it difficult to connect on a deeper level. The spark that once ignited my interactions was replaced by a hollow feeling, a void that could not be filled. My mental health took a toll too. Anxiety and depression became frequent visitors their presence a constant reminder of the battle I was fighting. Acknowledging the issue wasn't easy. It's hard to accept that you're in a fight when the opponent is a part of you. But the first step to overcoming any problem is admitting that you have one. So, I did. I acknowledged that I was an addict. And that was the beginning of my journey towards recovery. The first steps were small but significant. I sought help, confiding in those I trusted and started to educate myself about the nature of my addiction. I prayed, finding solace in a higher power, trusting in a force beyond my comprehension to guide me through my struggle. The journey wasn't easy, but it was necessary. It was a battle of will, a test of strength, and a fight for control. But ultimately it was a journey of self-discovery and growth, a path that led me to understand myself better and to take control of my life. In the face of adversity I made a choice, a choice to fight back. The road to recovery was not easy, but it was necessary. Truly the path to overcoming addiction is often like a battlefield, riddled with obstacles and challenges. For me it was a series of battles, each one testing my resolve more than the last. My first step was acknowledging the problem. This was no small feat. It took courage and a willingness to face the truth about my addiction. I had to confront the fact that my actions were not just affecting me but also those I cared about. Next came the process of seeking help. I found strength in support groups, in those who were fighting the same battle. We became soldiers in the same war, lifting each other up when one of us fell. But battling addiction isn't just about camaraderie. It also requires professional help. Therapists and counselors played a crucial role in my journey, providing me with the tools I needed to fight this addiction. There were days when the enemy seemed too strong, days when I relapsed. But each relapse was not a defeat, but a lesson. A lesson that taught me more about my triggers, my weaknesses, and ultimately, my strength. And then there were the victories. Small, yes, but significant. Each day without giving in to temptation was a victory. Each day spent nurturing healthy habits was a victory. Each day spent rebuilding the relationships I had damaged was a victory. And with each victory I was one step closer to freedom. But perhaps the most potent weapon in my arsenal was faith. Prayer became my refuge, my sanctuary. It was during those quiet moments of prayer that I found the strength to fight another day, the courage to face my fears, and the hope to believe in a future free from the chains of addiction. The battle was tough, but every small victory was a step towards freedom. And with each step, I was not just moving away from the person I was, but moving towards the person I was meant to be. Victory didn't come overnight. It was a slow, painstaking process. It's important to remember that this journey, like any other, was riddled with trials and tribulations. But the turning point, the moment when the scales tipped in favor of control, was nothing short of transformative. Imagine the feeling of a puppet finally cutting its own strings, of a bird breaking free from a cage. That was me. I was no longer a prisoner to my desires, but the master of them. This was not just a victory over addiction, but a triumph of the human spirit, a testament to the strength we all inherently possess. But remember, no victory is achieved in isolation. I replaced my unhealthy habits with healthier ones. I started to exercise, read and meditate. I rekindled my love for painting, something I had long forgotten in the haze of my addiction. I found solace in prayer, in the quiet moments of introspection and connection with a higher power. It was during these moments that I felt a sense of peace, a sense of purpose that was larger than my struggles. The relationships that had suffered due to my addiction began to heal. I started to rebuild the bridges I had burned one conversation at a time. The forgiveness and understanding I received were humbling, 
a reminder of the power of human connection and empathy. My mental health, too, saw a remarkable improvement. The fog of guilt and shame that had once clouded my thoughts began to lift. I started to experience joy in the simplest of things, a luxury I had been deprived of for far too long. But perhaps the most significant change was in the way I viewed myself. I was no longer defined by my addiction. I was not the sum of my failures, but a person who had fought a tough battle and emerged victorious. Victory, when it came, was not a grand event, but a slow, dawning realization that I was no longer a slave to my addiction. It was a quiet triumph, a whispered declaration of freedom that echoed in the chambers of my heart. And in that moment, I knew that I had reclaimed my life. Life after addiction is a whole new world. It's as if a veil has been lifted, allowing you to see the world in colors you never knew existed. It's a taste of freedom that you thought was reserved only for others, not for you. But here you are, living it, breathing it, and experiencing it in all its glory. It's the joy of waking up each day, not burdened by the chains of addiction. The joy of knowing that you control your actions, your thoughts, your life. It's a joy that permeates every aspect of your existence, filling your days with a sense of purpose and fulfillment that was missing before. Imagine feeling a peace that you haven't felt in years, a peace that comes from knowing that you're no longer a slave to your addiction. This peace isn't just a lack of turmoil or chaos, it's a deep-seated tranquility that radiates from within and touches every part of your life. It's the peace of knowing that you fought a hard battle and emerged victorious. Your relationships start to change too. You begin to connect with people on a level you never thought possible. The walls you've built around yourself start to crumble, allowing you to form genuine connections with those around you. You find yourself forming bonds that are based on trust, respect, and mutual understanding rather than on shared addiction or codependency. And let's not forget about your overall well-being. Your physical health improves, your mental health stabilizes, and your emotional health flourishes. You start to feel like a whole person, a person who is capable of living a fulfilling and meaningful life. You start to understand that your worth is not defined by your addiction, but by the person you are beneath it. Life after addiction is a journey of rediscovery. It's about rediscovering who you are, what you're capable of, and what life has to offer. It's about breaking free from the shackles of addiction and stepping into a life filled with possibility, hope, and joy. Life after addiction is not just surviving, it's thriving. My journey is not unique, and neither is my victory. The road to recovery is not a path walked alone. For many of us, it's a journey filled with potholes of despair, detours of temptation, and roadblocks of self-doubt. But it's also a journey marked by signs of hope, rest areas of relief, and milestones of victory. For those of you out there feeling lost in the maze of addiction, remember this. Your struggle is not a solitary one. You are not alone. There are many who, like me, have trudged through the same dark tunnels and emerged into the light. We are here, ready and waiting to lend a hand, to share a word of encouragement, to walk with you every step of the way. Recovery is not merely a destination, it's a journey, a process. It's about learning to navigate life's challenges without falling back into old habits. It's about learning to embrace our humanity with all its flaws and imperfections. It's about learning to celebrate our victories no matter how small they may seem. But most importantly, recovery is possible. No matter how long you've been battling your addiction, no matter how many times you've stumbled and fallen, no matter how hopeless things may seem, remember this. It's never too late to change. It's never too late to choose a different path. It's never too late to reclaim your life. And to those of you who are not struggling with addiction, I implore you, be compassionate, be understanding, be patient. The road to recovery is not an easy one, and those who are walking it need all the support they can get. So if you're feeling lost, if you're feeling hopeless, if you're feeling like you're all alone in your struggle, remember this, you are not alone. There is a community ready to support you. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. There is hope. If I can overcome, so can you. Don't lose hope, your victory is just around the corner. Found.